In this video segment, we're going to go over how to do a tree inspection for diseases or insects. So first what we want to do is, from a distance, take a look at the overall growth habit, the canopy, any dieback, and the foliage health of the tree. So this growth habit looks like that of a maple, and we can see that there is a fair amount of dieback in the crown of the tree. So now what we're going to do is go in closer for a look so that we can positively identify the tree and look for any signs and symptoms of diseases or insects. Now that we're in closer to the tree, we can take a closer look at the twigs and foliage so that we can positively identify the tree. So looking at the foliage, we can see that this is a sugar maple or Acerus saccharum. We also want to take a look at the foliage and twigs for any abnormalities, any galls or other insect and disease signs. Taking a close look to make sure that there's no evidence of insects or diseases. We're going to continue to look for these signs or symptoms as we go into the trunk of the tree. While you're inspecting the trunk of the tree, you want to take careful note of any decay, cankers, loose bark, fruiting bodies, exit holes or frass caused by insects. This tree has some old wounding which we do not know the cause of and it also has signs of old fruiting bodies. We can see that there are girdling roots which could be causing the stress that this tree is obviously experiencing. If we look above us, we can see there are many dead branches which have fruiting bodies on them. As we look up into the crown of the tree, and take careful note of the branches. Any exit holes, fruiting bodies, any abnormal growth habits that might lead us to suspect insect or disease presence in the tree. Now that we've completed our assessment of the tree, we can conclude that there is stress, but it is not insect or disease related, it's more of an abiotic stress.